Hi there, have you ever wondered how emergency calling works inside Microsoft Teams? What happens when you dial 911? How does it work? Now it turns out that it's actually somewhat complicated, but my job is to simplify. So let's begin. Welcome back to Collaboration Simplified. My name is Shervin Shafi, and I'm a Principal Technical Specialist at Microsoft. Now you might be asking, why should I even care? Why is it so important to dial 911 from Microsoft Teams? Well, it turns out that in the United States, there are two laws, Raybaum's Act and Kerry's Law. And these laws mandate that every PBX, whether it's a cloud PBX or on-premise, has 911 capabilities according to the rules of these laws. So you're obligated to make sure that your Microsoft Teams phone system abides by these rules. I know of course you also care for the well-being of all your employees, so you certainly want to make sure that 911 is available to everyone, but still, those laws are in effect right now. Now the first question you have to ask is, are you in the office or are you outside of the office? In the office, this scenario is actually something that's been around for quite some time inside Microsoft Teams, but we'll still go over it here. What's new now is if you're working from home or you're working in the coffee shop down the street. That scenario is when you're off net. And Microsoft has solved for this as well, and we'll review this in just a few minutes. The other thing that you have to consider is how is your organization set up in terms of connecting to the public switch telephony network, the PSTN? Are you connected using a Microsoft calling plan, direct routing, or operator connect? Now let's first tackle the on net scenario when you're in the office. Now this has been around for quite some time and there's extensive documentation on this, but really in a nutshell, it boils down into dynamic emergency calling. So this really has to do with location information services inside Microsoft Teams, where Teams is aware dynamically of what net networking equipment you're connected to, wireless access points, switch ports. And so if you are supposed to be a user in the LA office, but you take a flight and you go to New York City, because your IP address on your Teams client is now changed, if you dial 911, Teams knows that now you're in New York City. And so the PSAP operators and the ambulances for New York City are called to come to your rescue. And of course, from an admin perspective, there is a hierarchy in place from a civic address and location and all the networking equipment for that location that an admin has to configure for dynamic emergency calling. Now, the other thing that Microsoft Teams does when you dial 911 is that it notifies the front desk, your security desk and it lets them know that someone has dialed 911. So that person might be able to quickly get to the person that dialed 911 and give them CPR or other help before the ambulance arrives. You have different configurations when it comes to your security desk settings. Do you wanna just send them a chat message? Do you wanna actually conference them into the 911 call, muted or unmuted? So you pick as the admin how you want this security desk notification to behave. Let's double click on Microsoft Calling Plans and Operator Connect and specifics to those two settings. Now, it also depends what country you're in. If you're in the United States, Canada, parts of Europe, and so on, the behavior changes. So if you're in the United States and you are within your tenant and you have dynamic emergency calling set up, when you dial 911, the call is automatically routed to the PSAP, the public safety answering point. But if you're in Canada, the call actually goes to a tier one screening center that then inquires to understand where you're exactly located before the ambulance is sent to you. Now, I forgot to mention there's one other component called Emergency Routing Service, ERS, that sits in the middle between when you call 911 and it facilitates the routing of the call to the PSAP, the public safety answering point. Now, ERS is actually included with Microsoft Calling Plans and Operator Connect, but it's an add-on for direct routing. So if you do choose direct routing for your PSDN access, 
Notice if there's an additional cost for ERS services or maybe it's bundled into the direct routing package you're getting. Now going back a decade or more, there's actually another technology called ELIN that exists and is still used today. There's actually an ELIN application that lives on your SBC, the session border controller. And if you're using direct routing, there is a chance that ELINs are being used. Now, you can probably find more information about ELINs because it's an, actually an older technology, but the gist of it is that it's a phone number that ties to a physical address. So when you dial 911, there's an ELIN number that gets sent to the PSAP. And so the PSAP knows based on that ELIN number that's tied to a physical address where to send the emergency personnel. Again, ELINs are older, chances are you're gonna be using ERS, but if you wanna find more information about it, Maybe Google it. Now we get to the fun stuff. What happens when you dial 911 on Microsoft Teams when you're working from home or you're off net? Well, this is a new feature that just came out on Microsoft Teams. And it's really cool because it uses the location services of your operating system. So your operating system, if these location services are enabled, can use things like your GPS and the IP address and really pinpoint where exactly you are. It then sends that information to the PSAP so the ambulance comes to the right place. But the thing is that Teams takes it one step further. It gets your location and then it asks you, is this it? So you actually confirm it. If you can't get it, it'll ask you for your address. Either way, you put all that information in either automatically or you edit it and then that is sent when you dial 911 to the PSAP. Now here's a little handy dandy chart to really understand how calls are routed depending on whether you're in the office or you're outside of the office and whether you actually confirm or not confirm your address when you're working from home, the calls are either routed directly to the PSAP or sent to a screening center first. So to summarize, 911 from Microsoft Teams depends on a few factors. Are you in the office or are you working from home, on net or off net? What calling plan are you using? Microsoft's calling plan, Operator Connect, or direct routing? If you're working from home, did you confirm the address that your operating system provided or did you not confirm it? What country are you located in? Is it being sent to a screening center or directly to a PSAP? Are you using ELINs? Now, again, a lot of complexity. A lot of this is magic that's happening behind the scenes and some of it is your admins, the configuration that they have set up for you in Microsoft Teams already. But whatever the case is, rest assured that Microsoft Teams is making sure either by sending it to a screening center or to the public safety answering point that the 911 operator is sending the ambulance, the fire truck and the police to the right location to help you. So I hope you found this session useful. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.